Good morning, good people. Brother Charbel coming to you from beautiful Ohio. I'm here on a visit. Today I want to talk to you about a path of holiness, which is somewhat contemporary. It comes to us from a Capuchin, poor Claire mystic by the name of Venerable Maria Consolata Batrone. She lived in a convent in Turin, and her dates are 1903 to 1946. Consolata herself was inspired to enter religious life by the example of St. Therese of Lisieux. Of course, St. Therese proposed the little way. Well, Consolata proposes to us the littlest way of love. That was what she named her path. Allegedly, uh, Jesus spoke to her in what we would call interlocutions, spoke to her in her heart, in her lifetime, while she was in the convent. These um, can be found in the book Jesus Appeals to the World, which was written posthumously by, uh, after her death by her spiritual director, Lorenzo Salas. Well, in this little book, she proposes a threefold path of love, of holiness. The first part of it is a ceaseless act of love to God throughout the day what we would usually call aspirations, little prayers. The second part consists of a smiling yes to all whom we encounter and to treat Jesus in them, to see the imago God, uh, day of God, the image of God, within each person we meet, whether they're easy people to get along with or difficult. And the third part is a smiling and grateful yes to everything that happens in our life, whether it's joyful and pleasurable or sorrowful or very difficult. The littlest way. Now, it can seem very simple face value, but if you meditate on it deeply, you can see it's very profound and actually simply consists of the gospel to love God with all of one's heart, mind, and strength, and to love one's neighbor as oneself. Going back to the first part of uh, the littlest way of love, allegedly Jesus spoke to Sister Consolata's heart and gave her a simple seven-word prayer. It consists of Jesus, Mary, I love you, save souls. Again, Jesus, Mary, I love you, save souls. Jesus commanded her that this is all he required of her. He told her, I will think of everything, even up into the last detail. You think only of loving me. What liberation, what joy. So I encourage each of you, if this speaks to your heart, you can take Sister Consolata, Maria Consolata Patrone, as an example, as a path of holiness within the Franciscan tradition. And throughout the day, you can cultivate your interior life saying this prayer from within, whether you're working or at rest, and to surrender your life to God in a more profound way, and of course, in whomever you encounter, to deep dive and to see Jesus within them, made in the image and likeness of God. I hope this can help you and guide you on the path of holiness, and may the Lord give you peace.